how to task your uh, your staff member. So if you go up to the oh, plus yeah. sign, okay, and click on task, okay, let's tell her to do something. Okay. So uh, down below that, it says this task is four, and it says none selected. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, create new task. Do do? You got it. Yes. Okay. Where it says create task. Over to the left. Okay, it says this task is for none selected. So you want to select the person you want to assign this task to. You can actually okay. select multiple people. So it's a great way to do uh, company uh, memos to let everybody oh. know a new policy change or something like that. Okay. So priority, you can say urgent or high priority. Okay. And you can even set a recurring task. So if you drop that down, it'll recur every so many days. So if every Monday you want them to take the garbage out, you could set that as a seven day recurring and go <laughs> okay. all the way to a year. Uh, okay. Every year you could have it remind you to do your taxes or you know, every month okay. pay the bills, whatever it is you wanna do. And you also have the ability to set a due date if you want them to do it by a certain time. And then okay. over to the left, you've got the time limit. So as the owner of the company, if you want to send out a task, but you want to limit the amount of time they spend working on that thing, you can okay. let them know there. Okay. And then my favorite is the one right after that where it says, let me know when this is marked complete. So what happens is you're going to send this task to them. They're going to do the task and they're going to hit the complete button. And instead of it just disappearing, it's going to go back to you so you're aware that they think they're done with that job so you can verify that they did the job correctly. Ah, oh, okay. All right. So now and then I know that it's, yeah, that client is done. Okay, good. Right. Um, so now below that where it says subject. Mm -hmm. So kind of like sending an email, you just want to give it a brief subject so when they're scanning okay. through their tasks, they kind of know what this is for. So can we think of a task to send out? Mm, let's see. Okay. okay. And then down below that, if you wanted to add additional information, like they called today and they really want to have this done by next week, you could put that information there. If there's nothing okay. else you need to put, you can just go ahead and hit add task. So this also, am I in, so if I have a link, like something that she needs to research, I could <clears throat> attach it via an image of it or a link, what about like if it's an actual document, like a Word document or a PDF of something? Can Great I attach question. a PDF? That's something we've been asked for uh, quite a bit recently, and so we're working on our next version, which should be out in about okay. 45 days, an okay. integration to Dropbox, Google Drive, um, Amazon Cloud, and a number of other um, things. Okay. So you will have the ability to do that very soon. Okay, cool. All right. Then I'm going to put add task. Yep. So now that task has been created. Now you're looking at your home screen of tasks, and you personally don't have any tasks. Um, but okay. if you want to peek over the shoulder of one of your staff members, that's that drop-down mm -hmm. box where it says My Tasks. So if you pull that down, you can uh -huh. find her name there towards the bottom. Uh, okay. And now you're actually peeking at her list of tasks. And what mm. you can see there is that she's got an inbox, she's got a recurring, and then she's got everything else. So whenever a brand new task is assigned, it goes right to the top so they're alerted to that task being there. And then okay. from there, you can click on that task. So let's say you just sent this to her, but you forgot to tell her one other thing. All right, so if you click on Complete Atmospheres. So here you can see who assigned it. And then down below, mm. if you wanted to add an additional note. I yeah, would do it down you, here. You could do it down okay. there. And what this is going to do is create a log of communications that happened in relation to this task. So oh. maybe maybe she's working on this task and she's not quite done with it yet, but it's time to go home. So she can kind of put mm -hmm. some notes in there like, well, I did half of it and tomorrow I plan on finishing this up. So that if you're curious tomorrow, like, well, didn't you finish that thing I sent over? And, you know, you're not sitting next to each other in the office. You can mm -hmm. virtually peek over her shoulder and see that she's half okay. done with it. She, she is aware that she needs to finish it today. This is awesome when I actually, you know, build it to what I want, to where I'm doing everybody else who works for me is all remotely. 
Right. And I would be able to see that they were in and how far they got or whatever. Yep. If they put notes in. Yep. Very cool. And let me show you how it gets even cooler. Up in the top corner where it says dashboard, if you click on that, top left. Dashboard, okay. So again, the tasks are another part of the process here. So this, as the owner of the company, this is really the screen you're going to look at quite often. You can see here in the middle where it says two minutes ago, complete atmospheres, which oh. is a task, was updated by you and sent to her. Mm. And what you've got there in the little um, icon area is you've got your face and then her icon. So it kind of mm. signifies that you okay. sent it to her. So now when she sends it back to you, you'll see that as well on the timeline. So it is going okay. to be great when you get up to like five to eight employees and everything's coming and going and it's all over the place. It's a real nice way to see what's going on. Yeah, that would be awesome.